Hi, I'm Conchetta Trosky and welcome to part two of my series Presents Wellness Room, listening to the unspeakable heart-based dialogue with the body. Today we're going to explore insight, what it means to connect to our body on a physical level, meeting our body in its own language, physical sensation, and listening to that physical sensation as a means of practicing, feeling undefended, connected, and creative. When we are able to connect to physical sensation without running away, without tensing up, without avoiding and distracting, we practice yield. And when we can yield, we can begin to create. We can begin to connect. We can begin to feel softer and more present. I invite you to join me for this heart opening meditation. Finding a comfortable place for you to rest, either lying down or seated. And I invite you to begin to notice what it is for you to settle in this moment. The experiencing of settling is yield to gravity. As you settle, noticing what softens. Noticing what arises in that softness, even as we begin. The very act of listening and attending to your body is love. Know that in this moment, as we begin this journey together, you are engaging in love with yourself. As you settle and begin to find a space of softness, yield, surrender, notice what shifts. Notice how your body organically and spontaneously moves towards surrender, rest, release. Notice how this soft animal of your body knows exactly what it needs to do when given the space, the permission, and the safety. As you attend to your body's innate settling, beginning to attend to your breath, gently observing the rising and falling of your heart space. Perhaps your shoulders, perhaps your shoulder blades and upper back. Attending to this dance of expanding and contracting that is the in and out of breath. Breathing in, I know I am alive. Breathing out, I smile at my body. Noticing this in and out as the expansion and the contraction that your body knows how to do naturally, spontaneously, and effortlessly by itself. This flow that is vital for health, for balance, for presence, for safety. And as you attune and attend to your dance of breath, noticing now how that relationship of breath and attention might impact 
the frequency of thought. Notice if there's a shift in quality of awareness, in an overall sense of wellness and attention and presence. And from this place of attuned inner softening, an open witness presence, beginning to notice if there's any part of your body that feels more at ease, feels more fluid, more available to you, and allow your awareness to travel there. Resting your awareness on a place of ease, of flow, perhaps of grace. Notice what that feels like. And perhaps there is not a place in your body today that feels at ease. And if that's your case, you can turn your awareness back to your breath, just noticing the rhythm of breathing in and breathing out. And from this place of ease, beginning to exhale a little bit longer than your inhale. Slowly now, gently shifting the rhythm of your breath just a small extension of the exhalation of the letting go. And slowly now beginning to bring your awareness to your heart space. Staying with your breath and noticing as you inhale how your breath surrounds and expands around your heart creating space for your heart to beat freely. And as you exhale, perhaps there's a softening and a cushioning and enveloping of the heart with the contraction of your inner organs, your lungs, your rib cage. Allowing your awareness of your breath now to visualize the cells oxygenated with your fresh breathing. And exhale, releasing what is no longer serving you. Bring your awareness to how your heart is sitting in your body today. Allowing your power of visualization now to imagine your heart, see your heart. And as you hold your heart in your mind's eye and in your awareness, know that your heart can feel the attention you are giving it, can respond to the attunement and the awareness that you are showing it. How often do we sit with our hearts and simply allow them to beat in awe of their magic, in wonder of their power? And from this heart awareness now, beginning to expand your awareness outward to the space around your heart. Perhaps beginning to visualize muscles, nerves, bone, tendons, tissue. Traveling outwards to the places around your heart.
And as you breathe and your awareness continues to expand now to your rib cage, to your torso, your skin. And as this awareness expands outwards, beginning to travel over these spaces of your body, sweeping them with your consciousness. Simply scanning for any areas that might be contracted, constricted, holding back. Notice the language of your body, how it tells you that it is in tension, that it is in contraction. And without judgment, simply noticing any areas around your heart that feel stuck or blocked. And if you find an area that might need some attention, an area that might feel stuck or blocked, know that this is a memory. Know that this sensation is a wound, a place where your body constricted from the past and holding that constriction in your mind and in your awareness and your gentle attention, beginning to direct your breath towards that place and simply allowing that place to expand, visualizing fresh light space, permission, love, as you continue to breathe and direct energy towards a past memory of stuck, of hurt, of fear, of sadness. Stay with this. Permission for this to be. Just notice and breathe. Notice now as you attend to these places in your body if perhaps other areas of your body begin to communicate, activate through sensation, through memory, through image, through movement. And drawing your awareness now even further out so that you hold your entire body in your mind's eye seeing the outline of energy, of frequency. And perhaps noticing any sensation, temperature change, any urge to move, any image that might arise, memory, emotion. Notice. And as you breathe, this practice of embodiment is love, directed towards yourself, holding yourself in your own awareness like a warm blanket wrapping yourself in an embrace 
of your own attention. And from this place, noticing again any areas of your body that may feel at ease, that may feel light, open. Returning once more to connect to the yield, to the surrender, to the softening. to the place of being undefended, receptive and open, connected to your own heart. This is the place from which connection with others is born. And when you're ready, very slowly beginning to bring your awareness to your arms and legs. And noticing how they occupy space, how they connect to gravity, their weight. And from here, slowly beginning to take your awareness to your fingers and to your toes and perhaps beginning to invite movement, gentle, awakening. And whether you're lying down or seated, slowly beginning to drop one ear towards one shoulder and the other ear towards the other shoulder. Perhaps moving your head from side to side, gently bringing in some internal orientation. Notice what you see behind your closed eyes. And before opening and returning, to the space around you, one last moment to connect to your inner landscape. And I invite you to place your left hand over your heart and your right hand over your left. And gently pressing the warmth of your palms into your heart. Inhaling into that space, connecting to that energy, that availability, that power, and allowing the constriction and the contraction to exist alongside the yield, the power, and the softening. We are not just one or the other, but changing between expanding and contracting throughout the course of a day, an hour, a minute. Embracing all of it. Acknowledging all of it, all of who we are. All the while knowing that the more attention we pay to ourselves, the more we tend towards connection. And when you're ready, wherever you are, perhaps slowly beginning to move your arms overhead, extending them up towards the sky, perhaps your body spontaneously yawns as a release an indication that you are self-regulating. And when it feels 
comfortable for you, slowly begin to open your eyes, gazing somewhere soft. Connecting to the moment that you are experiencing in the presence that is your body. The gift that is your body. And perhaps taking a moment to thank yourself and to thank your body. for being your compass, your barometer, your guide. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me, to connect to yourself, to feel into any areas that might be constricted or blocked and know that those are areas that are memories and we all have gathered so many of them over the course of our lifetime. Join me for the, th the third and final part of my series as we practice voice. Moving from safety in the body to insight to then expressing with others in connection with an authentic voice and an undefended heart.